Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow. All right. Um, I feel like this game is like pushing its mechanic, you know? I, I'm i trying to come up with a word or a way to describe that feeling of like... Where the game is like, hey, use this thing. And it's like, shut up, Okay. Like they just gave me like mounts have been in the in the thing for a while. And we got this one at the start of the game in the second level of the first chapter. And then we got these three all back to back. And like it is kind of cool, yeah, but that's a time block thing. I don't really care too much about that. Um whoops. Wait, hold on. Maybe that's progression, because now that I have the upgrade, it's not a guarantee that I'll backtrack, so maybe this is the right way. Well, then again. I actually really love this game's combination of, like, tracking shots, uh, a little over the shoulder, a little third person. It's pretty sweet. We don't get enough, um... I think that was just backtracking, actually. It'd make the most sense. Pardon me, I didn't know that I was in the middle of a werewolf fight. There's a song in the original Castlevania, uh, well, like, Classic Mania, that'll just play sometimes whenever you're, like, fighting werewolves. I think it's just called Moonfight, and like, what an awesome name for just the song that plays when you might fight Moonfights. Probably be good to get good at my perfect shielding on this guy. Because the way that he charges up so specifically, it's not too hard. Slurp that in. I will stand by what I said about, like, after a fight, I feel like you should get those for free without having to do the input. But I do understand why they do it just for the sake of consistency and because it's a lot easier. Um, and also, like, I do rather enjoy the feeling of like it's like having to reload in a firefight you know because guns and magic are very much the same thing in a in a game sense they're a way to give the player a limited resource that they can use to engage in ranged combat in games where melee combat is not necessarily always the best chance that can be pretty smart wow he gets a cool little animation that's nice I'd love to see a spider climbing um Oh, your big spider butt. You're too fat, dog. So yeah, like, um... In, like, Fallout, you can just run up on a guy... And, and beat on him with, like, a pool cue or baseball bat or stick or whatever. What have you. That's pretty sweet. When you pull it in close and, and use it like a dagger and get a bunch of really fast hits. Oh, that's pretty sweet, actually. Oh, damn. I like that it's using its pedipalbs to, uh, to uh, fix that there. Although I don't think it's using its um, spinnerets. I think it's shooting it from its mouth. Because they always make spiders shoot stuff from their mouth in, in video games. Just because the butt's a little impractical. Or like from their hands, if they have hands. Like Peter Parker or Muffet.
right, let's explore over here. But yeah, like in Fallout, you can do the simple thing and hit somebody, or you can expend some of your precious, delicious ammo and fight without bringing yourself into melee range and into easy aim. And like, it also works in a sense of like, hey, what if you, what if you miss though? Because if you don't miss, then like, hey, that'd be rad. But you also got to make sure you don't miss. Interesting that they just put a statue in front of that guy. You got the Shadow Magic Medallion. Um, it's Devil Trigger. Press the RB button to activate or deactivate it. Uh, right stick will put neutral orbs into your... Oh, okay, cool. And this gives you Shadow Flame. And that's all we got so far. That's okay. Interesting that they would split um, your magic damage across both. I like that. Yep. It's Devil Trigger. It's kind of lame that that guy is just, like, back there and, like, whatever. Oh, whoops. I want... Cool. Yeah, like, they just... It's just sitting on the floor here, essentially. Like, I know it's on a dead guy, but, like, it's just kind of right back there. Use light magic for health, use shadow magic for damage. Interesting that they would separate them as well, because, like, in a Devil May Cry, you would just get both for free. Like, you don't even have to hit, you just get more. And it looks like you only get one at a time as well. So one of the problems that you have in games where enemies can give you health is that killing them faster isn't necessarily always the best course of action. Oh, it's interesting that you have to stock them up separately as well. That's cool. Um, what am I trying to say here? A oh, little bit of clipping, but that's okay. It's hard to animate a whip right. They're notoriously hard to animate, in fact. So yeah, like in Fallout, you have the option of melee attacks or ranged combat. And like, if you're specced for guns or if you have good aim in one of the 3D games, like that's also just better for you. But like, you also have the thing of like, what if you miss though? And that's interesting. Magic in video games typically, all the shots in this game that try to show me something feel like they take way too long. Wait, am I, am I here? Oh, I am. I didn't even know that I was there. I couldn't see my character. And I thought that it was just taking a while because all of the shots in this game that try to show you something take too long. Explosive daggers. Oh, you just get it for free with Shadow Magic on. That's cool. I like that you get some free stuff. And then we just want to get one of these. I actually don't want that then, because it's a time block thing. I need to get more practice with the time block, though. Agharta was once one of the great oh, cities yeah, um, of the ancient world, well, I mean, but it didn't take long to fall under the onslaught of the Dark Lord. The lichens were innumerable, and the city was razed to the ground. The necromantic wars, as they were known, destroyed the advanced technologies that the Agartians had closely guarded. Eventually the titans fell, and then the people were massacred one by one, or were turned into beasts subservient to their new conqueror. None now remain to tell the tale. Oh yeah, this is totally coincidence by the way, but now that the episodes have actually been coming out, I can talk about this. 
But I'm also playing... Ooh, we got the nice pre-rendered stuff. I'm also playing Oblivion right now, elsewhere on my channel, and like... I didn't mean to play two separate games that both feature Patrick Stewart as the narrator. That was like straight up just coincidence. But whatever, you know? That's rad. Is this a fucking Final Fantasy summon? God damn, that is cool. Wow. That's some straight up nips. Oh yeah, the Dante's Inferno, like, I guess I, it's not like a licensed video game because no one owns the rights, but like, Dante's Inferno was also like a very extreme God of War clone and like, also had a lot of boobies. Wait. Nope, I'm just going to do my little, like, Venetian or French, you know, peasant backflips. Well, now what's down here, then? It's impossible to climb up here. You can't do it, Gabe. This is just a minor thing, but I feel like there's so many Netflix shows that, like, just have buckets of sex just to get people in. But, like, if you don't care about that or you, like, you know, watch real porn, then, you know, it just puts people off of it. Uh, also, feel free to pause this if you like. It's just a prayer for some guy. From some guy. Yeah. Yeah, look, we're missing one out of each of these. nice that they let you uh, absorb both split it evenly I guess it might let you top off one of them um, and let the other one fill up a little more as well but yeah there is a bit of, of sex in the go ahead and pause this if you like all right that's all you're getting one thing that you don't get is that you don't get like sword first moves with a whip I'm thinking about this because this is very much like a Devil May Cry level. Like, Devil May Cry 1, in particular, loves ruins and castles and shit. Um, but one thing that you get in Devil May Cry is you get stuff where Dante is going to put the sword first. Just trying to get my block off, guys. Um, yeah, you get, like, the move Stinger, where Dante, like, thrusts the sword forward and charges, and, like, oh, it's so cool, and Nero has Streak, which is his own version of it, or Helm Splitter, where you, like, wa like wall in the air, you just put the sword down and go with it, like, that's cool, and, like, because the whip is so much of a lighter weapon, and this whip is a particularly heavy one, but it's still animated as though it's a little, like, Leather whip. Um, yep, yeah, figures. Uh, like, it's a very light weapon, and so you don't get moves that feel weighty, you know, that feel heavy. And that's kind of a shame, you know? Alright, I just need to get a little more practice with that. All right. I'm also just wishing that I had the ability to like super jump, which is technically a bug from Devil May Cry, but they keep putting it back in because it's really fun. Whew. 
Whoops. Then I good. Hold on. If you keep failing at certain jumps, check you haven't missed a grip point or alternative route. Boo. Oh man, the whole thing. No. Okay, that's not bad. I actually kind of feel like a good amount of survival from this. Castlevania isn't like a true survival horror game, never has been. Even the most horror and like hard difficulty games are like pretty forgiving. I would not say that it's, you know, survival horror. Can't jump it on your own. Do I need... Am I going to get to talk about Prince of Persia again? Is this going to be like, uh, what's her name? Elika from Prince of Persia. The other, other game that's called Prince of Persia from 2008. Look, I know that it sucks that there are two Doom games named Doom, and that's complicated and annoying. I know it sucks that there are like three or four games named Prince of Persia. And like three games that are named Prince of Persia since a time, I think. But there are two games in the Prey franchise. Both of them are named Prey. That one is the worst, I think. Yeah, I actually kind of like the uh, the ammo mechanics and like the fact that like I don't just get a free refill after every fight. I gotta play smart. Like that's cool. Um, I was talking earlier about like gun mechanics in games and about how normally magic is is treated like a gun, but there's a lot of things that magic doesn't have that guns do that make them interesting and valuable and exciting as a gameplay sense. Um, and, like, you don't have those tense moments where, like, you're really hoping to hit. They can... Okay, cool. They can climb and jump better. Word. I guess we'll... Yeah, I assume that I would need that, the help of that girl. And then we... Hold A to... What was it again? Wargs don't like to be ridden and would eat anyone audacious enough to try such a thing. For the rider, it's kill or be killed. Or wait, it's this button. Uh, I need skills, mounts, warg. <coughs> Pardon me? Press A next to glowing services. Oh, do I just kill you? Okay, that makes sense. He's too small to fit through there. Oh no, he's too big. Opposite. God damn, Gabe. Can I talk to you up here? Thank you. Let's go in on this guy. Right, yeah, I shouldn't do that with my little health. Getting a little spike of difficulty here. I kind of appreciate it. Um, it's not like this game's been, like, super easy, but... Gotta jump those. But not those. But yeah, like, we get the tense moments of reloading because we have to stop and suck in, um, magic balls. There we go. Oh, I got ta I got clipped by that guy. Um, they really want to make sure that you can hear Patrick Stewart. So yeah, it's, I, I assure you it's just pure coincidence that I'm playing Oblivion and Castlevania. Two games that just happen to have... I don't have an air dodge, doy. 
happen to have uh, Patty Stew. Be funny if I followed up and played like an X Men game. They had a they had a longer freeze when you're in shadow mode. I actually like that. Rolling and I not was not dodging. Dodge too soon. All right, that's not bad. See, so yeah, I actually do really, I really enjoyed the um, like normal fighting. And now they're really pushing this, like, mount combat, and, like, I don't really know if that's, like, what I wanted out of this game. It's cool, I guess, but, like, it really feels like they saw this in God of War, and they were like, oh, man, what if we do that all the time? One thing about God of War is that, like, sometimes it's just the most, like, attractive way to end a fight. Like, oh, I've got a guy here that I need to deal with. that thing. Yeah, sometimes it's just like the most attractive way to end a fight. It's a really fun, stylish, cool thing to do. But sometimes you don't even want to do it. But like here, they're just really pushing it. It's like a Golden Axe Beast Rider, you know? And like, it's not even like Castlevania had like a big emphasis on on riding beasts in the past, you know? It's a little relevant now that uh, Elden Ring has come out as well. Because Elden Ring might have the best horse in video games. I've not played it, I have only been told this, but... Currently the best horse in video games is D-Dog, Diamond Dog. Nope, why would it be the dog, for God's sakes. Diamond Dogs is the album. But his name is D-Horse or Diamond Horse from Metal Gear Solid 5 to Phantom Pain. It's maybe the best horse tech in any video game I've ever seen. You get a bunch of stuff that you would never even think to get in other games, like horse poop tech, or like hanging yourself off the side of the horse so people think that you're just like a... so that they think it's just a horse. Like, that's cool. Um, I'm just pushing ahead here to make sure that I don't need this guy for anything else. I don't think I do. So let me just cheese wire him. Balls, come on. Get in me. Um, Do my little pixie boy jumps. There was a guy over here that I wanted. Probably just a shadow gem or a note. Scroll. Go ahead and pause this if you want. I wonder if you can tame any other creatures. Again, fantastic art for just what is a generic guy. I oh, mean, this game pretty much rocks. Um, buh, 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 buh. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, best horses. Um, and then prior to that, like horseback stealth and horseback combat, and like there's a lot of really cool stuff that D horse gets that like you wouldn't even think would be an option on horses. And like I don't think Epona or like any Breath of the Wild horse like properly ascends that. I've heard that Torrent might be um, the best new horse, but the one who had it before uh, D horse was. Can I okay. I totally just whiffed all those, damn. The one who had it before was um, Agro from Shadow of the Colossus. I'm talking about Shadow of the Colossus again. Maybe they saw it and they were like, hey, cool, we could have, a, we could have riding things. But yeah, like Shadow of the Colossus very much feels like a NES game, but like in a NES game, it's like, okay, we have two buttons, so you're gonna be able to do two things in this game. So everything's going to have to be a function of those two buttons or else. Because that's just how it works. 
And like Shadow of the Colossus feels like a NES game in the same way, where it's like you have these buttons, everything is going to be a function of these buttons. But instead, it's like you have way more buttons because it's a PlayStation game. Right, that's the unblockable move. Doing, doing. Um, yeah, you have way more buttons, but like everything in this game is going to be some combination or function of those buttons, and like that's clever. I like that. Yeah, break the statues. Uh, yeah. Um, so like you get cool stuff like I could just jump that on my own. Are you crazy? I could jump that in real life without having giant Castlevania man muscles. Cinematic uh climb. I feel like that should have just been like a like a automatic thing. Like I just get close enough and it just puts me up there. Wait. Is that the same voice clip from before? Oh, I am supposed to go that way. All right. Uh, what am I sitting on? Oh, I'm sitting on a decent amount. Light flash. I am starting to use that more, but maybe not. I can get one of these moves upgraded. Haven't been using that enough. Heavy combo. Oh, man. These animations are so clean. I kind of want to wait and grab, like, something for 6,000 is going to be great, right? You know? Who is this strange girl? Surely she could not have survived alone in this hellhole? Gabriel follows her deep into the depths of the city. I wonder where she is leading him. It is strange. I hear no words, and yet it seems Gabriel is communicating with her in some way. Something tells me she has a part to play in all of this. All right. These, I feel like they're just trying to get the fact that they have Patrick Stewart. Like, they're trying to get your money's worth out of it, and that's why they play it before the start of every level. Because, like... I don't, I'm not really feeling Patrick Stewart. Like, the, the narration comes in, and it almost interrupts my fun. Like, I'm going from level to level. I'm having a good time. And, like, the fact that the the whole game is inside of a storybook is cool. I'm also playing Valkyria Chronicles, which has the whole game inside of a storybook, interestingly enough. A lot of synchronicity here. Like, one of the games I'm LPing has Patrick Stewart as the narrator. You know, for five minutes, but he is there. Oh man. I thought that was just the way to go. Wait, where am I going then? Oh yeah. Cool. Oh uh, what? There we go. Had to get my big Assassin's Creed run up. Uh, what now? Uh, what am I thinking about? Oh yeah, I'm just it's a it, it's weird I'm playing one game where Patrick Stewart's the narrator for 5 minutes and one game where it's in a storybook. And then I'm doing both of those right now as well. Oh man, did I miss that guy? Oh, I totally missed that guy. Whatever. If I really want it... Like, I don't feel like I'm gonna struggle in this game. The last level was a little hard, but like, it's because so much of the game was built around like... Or so much of that level was built around using the beasts and the mounts. 
Uh, damn this broken leg. Stefano and Michael are traveling ahead to find help. I'm so glad we teamed up because working alone is difficult. Stefano is a shadow gem, which gives him powerful abilities, but I fear it's changing him. He has a strong temper that wasn't there before. He revels in the execution of the creatures more than is necessary. I shouldn't complain. Now that he's not here, I feel vulnerable. He should be back soon, I hope. I, I'm not fully sure how I feel about the fact that they give you your whole health bar and then they give you half of it. Like, they show you how big it can be and then it's like, you're getting this part, though. Is that the same quirky little backflip animation? Uh, I gotta find the two keys. I'm noticing that there's a lot more two in this game, you know? Like normally you would you would find three of an item. Can I nudge this down? Yeah. Normally you'd find like three of an item. Gremlin guano uh, sounds disgusting, but there's a substance. The substance is valuable in a guardian culture. It's flammable and burns slowly, and with a bluish flame. It's a good energy source, and it was used in the first stage of the mythical city until it was replaced by the powerful dark crystal. Crystals plural, but that means that this is is powered by goblin poo. Crazy. But realistic. Oh, who are you? It's kind of cute. They have they gave it such a fat little belly. You know, actually, I complained recently about um, how I'm not getting, like attacks that go to the ground first. Like, I don't get a Helm Splitter, or I don't get a Stinger. But actually, that is a pretty good Helm Splitter. I just wasn't doing it enough, you know? You know what I love? Fighting creatures that are meant to be fought in the air on the ground. Kind of interesting that um, they give you the daggers as a method to finish enemies off or to start the work on a on a strong enemy. That guy got a hard. Um, to or to start the work on a really strong enemy. Because like normally, you know, in Devil May Cry, you have your style button, you have your attack button, and you have your gun button. And in God of War 4, uh, you have your attack, your heavy attack, and then your range. And if you have the style called Swordmaster in Devil May Cry, it works uh, relatively the same, where you almost have like a light attack and a heavy attack. That's kind of cool. I like that, actually. I like that it gives you half the bridge, and it just opens up more area. Because it means that you can keep backtracking through and keep looping through. Obviously, you need to reuse some assets in a video game, but, like, this is a pretty clever way to do it, I think. I'm not, like, in pain because of the way that this is, uh, you know, forcing me back backwards through areas. This one I have been using, and it's got a pretty simple input. So maybe I'll get that upgrade. But I, I, I want to... I, do want to like just grab as many moves as I can and break it open on your own oh I had it I had to hit the button on the door I kind of assumed that it would just start the fight you know oh and I see you brought your friends damn All right, well now, wait, did I see a thing over here? No, okay. I'm actually kind of liking how they're invisible walling you in. It's not too, um... I knocked it down, damn. No mercy.
Oh, it, bo it blows up. Okay, I thought that was just a really weak crap for some reason. Now mount. Always wanted to ride a big spider. There was this anime that would sometimes air after, like, Batman Beyond. Or no, it wasn't Batman Beyond. It was the 2004 series called The Batman. Rather annoying that they called it that, because, like, come on. They just put The on the front of it. It doesn't really, you know, easily differentiate it. And now we even have more things that are called The Batman, because the new movie is called that. Like, hey, oh, we called this movie Suicide Squad. What are we going to call Suicide Squad now that we have, like, an actual talent on it? Like, oh, what if we call The Suicide Squad? Really? You know? But, um, I think the, I think it was called Kids WB. Uh, and then the local channel that had it was called, um, CW, CWM. They had a little ditty, I think. And I think it was just like a local Warner Brothers thing. Oh, that's good. So what is that, YYA? That's pretty cool. I like that. Drink up. Anyway, so yeah, um, there was this anime called The Batman, and also Batman. My weeaboo, it's getting the better of me. Um, yeah, it was a cartoon called The Batman. You've probably seen it around. It's actually got a lot of really interesting stuff in it. It's got one of my favorite versions of Bruce Wayne. It's got a lot of interesting takes on the canon. Um, like obviously, it's following one of the hardest acts of like things animated in the states ever because the batman batman the animated series is one of the best cartoons of all time and like it's a really good cartoon and like also then they had justice league right afterwards which was even better and like you know bruce tim's work is Im imitable it's really really good it's really clever and it works in a lot of ways and then like you know, they're making Batman in the 90s, and then they moved up to Justice League in the 2000s, and then they rebooted it, and we have a new Batman in 2004-ish, and like, boy, is that a hard act to follow. Oh, I love drinking with both. That feels nice and strong. All right, let's go in. Okay, let's switch over because I'm getting my ass whipped here. But anyway, um... What the hell are you? You're a fucking WoW boss! God damn! You know the Titan? Anyway, um... Yeah, so the Batman, the Batman, the Batman would air, and occasionally they would also air um, Legion of Superheroes, which was a okay show. I kind of see that they didn't want to have another crystals. Superman show, so they made it Legion of Superheroes. The crystals can be really useful in combat. Um, but after it would be this anime called Spider Riders, and I never like was able to see a full episode, but it always I interested me and had a pretty popping um, intro. I hear your voice. I'm not moving my lips. I have the gift. I can also read minds. Who are you? My name is Claudia, and he is my protector. Do I know he looks Claudia? After like a Castlevania Claudia. In return, I catch evil souls so that he can absorb their energy. Without it, he will stop working. But there's something different about you. It's kind of funny that shadow magic is killing evil beasts more efficiently. I'm relieved to hear it. And that light magic is vampirically draining the essences. Okay. okay. Let me read your thoughts. No. no. Oh. What's wrong? 
You are here to kill the Lords of Shadow and take their power. You mean to save us all and bring the one you love back. Yeah, it's this whole thing. Patrick Stewart told me about it. I am not afraid. We are coming with you. You won't make it on your own. No, Claudia. I must do this alone. I know the way. You don't. You need me. You need him. This, like, this dude looks cool and all, but like... How many times have I seen a huge dude in big black armor with big black weapon, you know? Like, Sauron and Morgoth are obviously one of the big originators of that, but like... How many times have I seen it, though? You know? It's a lot of them. Right. I'm almost at 2k. Can I quit out from here? No, that just bans it for some reason. Well, let's listen to Pat Stu and then uh, Fate I'll, has I'll, then I'll its quit hand, out. And now the die is set. I knew this child would play her part somehow, and it seems Gabriel has real help at last. It bodes well for our quest. The golem that protects the girl has something that could prove very useful in the end, something unforeseen. My dear friend, I see your destiny before me, and it is terrible indeed. And yet I have trust that all will be as I have hoped. All right. We're just going to play this. We might even see this again at the start of the next episode. Uh, sorry for cutting this one a little shorter, but all the other ones have ran a little long, so maybe it'll leave thousands out. of years, this city overflowed with life. Again, like was the ancients, the, magic, the before people. That's cool. I love that as a concept. These people the were builders, the ones you know? created the crystals, which you've already seen. They didn't need armies for protection. Their powers were enough to thwart any threat. That is, until the Lycans came. Then the balance changed. Trolls, goblins, gremlins, creatures gremlins are, of nightmare besieged the That's even more goofy than night. goblins, I think. Most fled. Others used their remaining powers to create huge titans to fight against the invaders. The battle lasted centuries until there was no stone left standing. What about the stones no we're standing on? Those that did not die in battle were captured and devoured. My father was one of the last. He hid me. He created the Black Knight to be my protector. We have been running ever since. The Titans outlived their creators and stayed here fighting against an enemy that outnumbered them until even they were defeated. All except one. Behind those doors awaits the last of those Titans. Oh, and the Ice Titan only jumped back up because of all the curse shenanigans that have been going on. Doesn't that hurt your the ankles, girl? The way to reach the sanctuary of the Dark Lord is through that door. We will have to defeat the Titan if we wish to I wonder, continue our journey. Are you going to make sense? Are you just some random tiny blonde lady who just showed up and has magic powers? To create yeah, yeah. Crystals. We will wait for you here while you look for them. Um, it is very interesting that, like, they give us... Grow. We will wait for you here. It is very interesting that they give us Dark Crystals. We can summon a demon. Oh, she had one of these. Well, I need a dark crystal for that. What if one was just like back here? Be kind of funny. Um, so one thing about Castlevania that I actually really liked, and I want to talk about this more, is that like there's not a lot of like deep lore in Castlevania. Um, like it's just about as raw as they come. Like you just get. It's the real world, but vampires exist. Like, the Crusades even still happened. Where am I going? Um, and, like, there is obviously some lore and some backstory, but, like, that's pretty much all covered in, like, a game, you know? Like, those all happened at some point. You played it, and that's why we know. Okay, over here, we get a shot of this statue. Oops. And this fountain. Is this the way to go? 
I want to do advance until I got a checkpoint, just so I don't have to skip through all the cutscenes. Um, but it's interesting that they go with this like very gothic, dark fantasy like. The world used to be so much cooler, and then it got ruined. Oh, doy, over here. The world used to be way cooler, and then it got ruined. And then, um... The places where crystal shards grow are purple in color. You need four shards to one hole. And then somebody cut off the people who still need all the other stuff from their stuff. Like, and so we're having a, a new Dark Age. Like, we we're already having the Dark Age of, like... We lost all this ancient technology, and we don't have the ability to make titans, and we can't, like, do shit like that anymore. And now we also have the Dark Age of, like, hey, God won't talk to us anymore. Uh, pause this if you want to read it. Like, somebody blocked God on Twitter, and now we can't speak with him anymore. And, like, that's a problem because we're clerics and, and paladins and... Damn you. And, like, magic and miracles are real. Like, that's cool. I mentioned that, like, I have seen a couple of D&D, like, uh, adventures that feature stuff like that. But, like, it's cool. It's a cool concept. That's why, you know, they keep doing it. I think that it's a little uh, unfair sometimes, just because, like, it can be annoying. Like, hey, I'm playing a cleric in a fucking campaign where the gods got killed. Maybe even the party killed the gods, but that just means that I'm shit all now, you know? You know, thanks, Tim, for killing my god and removing my ability to do magic. Go in search of the areas where the crystal shards grow. We will wait for you. You know, would it be too much to ask to have a game where crystals are not the source of power? Where it just what if it's just like a regular rock? You know, it's not even shiny. Um, that's been another forty-five minutes. Uh, that's what I've been trying to keep these episodes to. And again, I went over time, but that's okay. I wanted to finish my thoughts because uh, I'll probably forget if if not specially cared for. Um, but I've been Alfred. This has been Lords of Shadow. I hope you all had a good day. Uh, bye, everyone.